Hey dude, how are you? Welcome to my house. Hi, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Live Party. Pardon me, pardon me. You can come with if you want. Super loud, okay. Hello everybody, welcome back. So last time, we uh, discovered that I can't do math very well and uh, I put a portal in the wrong place so I did something I moved to the well I, I, I made a new portal and instead of doing what I probably ultimately should do which is run another one like this parallel 60 blocks down over that way which is pain in the butt uh, and then extend this over um, I, I I took the easy way out and we can start to uh, going back and doing it the correct way if we want. So, it takes a little while to get down there. It is, after all, about 700 blocks down, so I've got about 500 blocks to go. So when I get down there, I will come back. Oh, that is a long, boring trip. But we're back. So this is the misplaced portal, and this is the correctly placed portal. And I did something dumb, didn't I? I forgot to bring a flint and steel. Let's see if I've got one in my ender chest. I hope I do, because that would be stupid if I did not. Oh, look, flint and steel. Very nice. Okay. Let's uh, get the ender chest back. All right, so let's see what happens if we do this this time. Okay, last time, that one let me under the sea this one hopefully puts me out in a portal I already built on my modified Taiga Island by modified I mean I burned it all down please 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 hey look this looks familiar yay okay so I have a little house here with an inner chest and a chest and a bed. So let's, uh, okay. Now, the island should be safe at night because I lit it all up. <sighs> so let's see, hang on a second. Important thing, important detail. The whole point of doing this was to find myself a dog. So, let's see if there are any dogs on the island. I'm fully not expecting there to be any, because there haven't been before, but I have a quick way out here. Well, relatively quick. It involves walking 700 blocks. Um, I need to start working on that gold farm, I think, so that I can build enough powered rails that I can start building transportation infrastructure this island is looking pretty barren and certainly devoid of pooches passive mobs should be able to spawn here because it's there's grass and there's space given that you know I burned down all the trees spider Skeleton. Oh, there must be a cave that I have not found. I'll have to go find that. Okay, no pooches. Oh, that's kind of depressing. There's Taiga over there. We'll go see. Oh, that's right. There's that whole ravine down there. That's probably what I was hearing in terms of the spider and the skeleton. And I may need to be explored and lit up in order to help. I don't know what, how many enemies do I have right now? 84, 83. Now a lot of those are squids, I bet. I don't see any dogs over there. So, so I don't know. I'm not expecting to ever find a dog. Which is sad, because I would like dog. 
Maybe there's a pooch over here. Maybe. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Yeah. I've lit this up too, somewhat. Chicken. Oh, that scared me a little bit. Hi, chickens. Yeah. We got planes over here, which isn't going to help. This, no dogs are going to show up. Hey, mushroom. This this is still taiga here, right? Biome taiga, yep. So in theory, dogs could show up in here. But it's a really small taiga biome. So I probably need to go exploring and find myself a big taiga. And we've got, look at that. we got pumpkins. we got sheep of multiple colors. We've got... Oh, dirt overhang, which seems a little dangerous. But, ah, uh, no dogs. Okay, well, that's too bad. Um, so, oh, hello. You're a little dark under here. Whoa, uh, this is interesting. Entrance into a cave, underlit stone and with dog in real life barking but she's not coughing which is really important um, she developed some sort of a bacterial infection in her in her uh, gut and throat otherwise known as kennel cough and we had to get her some medicine and been giving her medicine and it used to be whatever she barked she would cough and it was a really awful awful sounding cough so I'm very happy to hear her barking and not coughing because um, that means she's getting better the antibiotics are working hey look a boat I assume that's my boat I assume it's probably a safe assumption Okay, so we're not going to find dogs here. Um, underwater. Ooh, let's light this up a little bit, just in case. And, yeah. So I didn't really have other things planned. I was hoping that by telling myself I wasn't going to find a dog, that a dog would just magically appear. So I guess you need to start researching that gold farm. Because the power rail duplication bug was cleared out of the game. So I don't have a good way of getting large quantities of powered rails. I saw that coming. And I did not do anything about it. How am I getting out of here? Okay, that works. Let's take a look over there. That's also Taiga. And let's see if there's any pooches over there. There's some more Taiga over there. So, the quest for a dog continues unsuccessfully. And I don't know, I should look into the, the spawning rules for passive mobs. Do you have to be a certain distance away? And I'm sure the mob cap plays into it. Wow, it's a big ravine. Does that... I wonder if that connects to the ravine that goes in on the island over there. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy. Oh, look, a cow. Are you being a lookout, Mr. Cow? Hi. Hi. Thank you. I need your steaks. I'm running low. And I don't have a good protein source yet. I have plenty of of uh, plant plant sources. I can uh, I've got plenty of potato and uh, carrot crops. 
but not uh, not cow. Fortunately, with the looting sword, it, it makes it easier. But so yeah, the question is, I mean, there should be plenty of opportunities for mobs, dogs in particular, to be spawning there on the Taiga Island, which is now devoid of trees. But perhaps other nearby spawning sources uh, present a problem? I don't know. So we'll have to look into that. I see something over there, but I think it's the top of the portal. Yeah, it's the portal. Drat! No dogs. But also no sheep, no pigs, no chickens, no nothing. And they should have plenty of opportunities to spawn here. So I need to figure out how to optimize this. And maybe we make a dog farm. There's a thought. Okay. All right. Well, it's a short little episode. Um, said I don't have too much else. I didn't have anything else planned. I came over here hoping to find a dog. And did not. So, um, we can... No food. What do we got in here? Oh, look, raw fish. That's right. I was cook. I was. Yeah. It's another thing I need is a cat. And I didn't have a lot of fish. So. Oops. All right. Well. I'm, I thought I saw something out there. Okay. Well, if anyone has any idea about how to maximize dog spawning potential, let me know. Because I would like to know. And I don't think I've ever seen anyone build a dog farm. So, uh, we can maybe, uh, maybe make that happen. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to sign off for now. Um, I don't have any other big projects to so say. I need to start working on the, on the gold farm. Um, I need to prepare gear to go on and take the, on the dragon. I want backup gear so that if I get myself killed, I can go back in and finish the job. I need to uh, start working on the um, on the nether fortress, sort of conditioning that to maximize uh, wither skeleton spawns. I have one wither skull that I got fully by happenstance, and that's not uh, that's not going to do because I wouldn't mind a beacon or two. So we need more wither skulls, and we'll need to fight the wither and. Um, take on other stops. So yeah, there we go. I think we're going to call that an episode and we'll make that short and we will, uh, I'll go have to go back and visit at another time and hopefully we find a dog then. All right. Thank you for watching. Um, this is Theron. This has been Minecraft land party and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.